everyone, I am Agastya Tripathi. I study in grade 5 in Delhi Public School. Do you all know when did the last solar eclipse of 2020 occurred? It occurred on 14 December 2020. It was clearly visible from Argentina and Chile. Today, I am here with my model to explain you all about eclipse. This model is guided by my favorite man, Sneha Mem. This is the Sun, Moon, Earth. Now let's see what is eclipse. An eclipse is a natural phenomenon in which one celestial object or a portion of it becomes temporarily invisible as it is hidden by the shadow of another celestial object. It happens when three celestial objects are in straight line. The revolution of the earth around the sun and the revolution of the moon around the earth causes lunar and solar eclipse. Now let's see what is lunar eclipse. When the earth came between the sun and the moon, the shadow of the earth falls on the moon. This causes lunar eclipse. Now let's see what is solar eclipse. When the moon came between the sun and the earth, the shadow of the moon falls on the earth, causes lunar solar eclipse. I hope you all like my presentation. Thank you. Good morning everyone. I am Devika Shavari from class 5A, DPS Jagdalpur. Today I am going to demonstrate about acid rain, its causes and effects on the environment. Acid rain is a rain or any other form of precipitation that is unusually acidic. Acid rain is caused by the emissions of sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide which reacts with water molecules in the atmosphere to produce acids. Causes of acid rain The major causes of acid rain are natural and human instigated causes. The main nature causing agents are volcanic eruptions and lightning strikes. The human instigated sources are emissions from factories and automobiles. Harmful effects of acid rain The acid rain adversely affects the environment including marine, biodiversity and public health, etc. For example, carbon is turning yellow mainly due to the air pollution. It's one of the harmful effects of acid rain. Methods to avoid acid rain by using renewable energy sources like solar energy and hydro energy and electrical vehicles and hybrid vehicles with negligible and reduced emissions. Industrialization, we need to make efforts in war footing to reduce the phenomena of acid rain. And the whole world needs to take a call to avoid inflicting colossal damage on the environment. Thank you and have a nice day. Hello everyone, my name is Tamar Shwasta, Class 5, Section B, Delhi Public School, Jagdalpur. Jagdalpur. Today I do a science experiment on air pressure. For this experiment, I need a glass filled of water and an index card. Now, put the hold the index card tightly on the glass. Then turn the glass and carefully remove your hand. Air exerts pressure, that's why the, the index card does not, not fall and it pulls up. Thanks for watching my experiment. I, I hope you like my experiment. Thank you. Have a nice day. Hello everyone. My name is Vedit Tripathi, a student of DPS at Dalpur, class 5th A. Today, I am here for the science experiment of natural disaster. There are five types of natural disasters. Volcanic eruption, earthquake, drought, tsunami, and floods. So, my model is on volcanic eruption. There are three types of volcanoes. The, uh, the first is active volcano. Second, dormant volcano. Third, extinct volcano. So, my volcano is on active volcano. So let's start the experiment. The first step of this experiment is put some baking baking powder in it. And then add some vinegar, 
vinegar solution. Here, this is the uh, molten lava. Here is the molten lava. Thanks for watching. Hey everyone, my name is Anvij and I study in class with the Hindi Teacher Circle Today, I am going to show you my science experiment that is vacuum candle. So firstly, I have taken a plate and now I will put the candle on the plate. Now I will light it up. Now I will pour the water on the plate. Now I will pour the glass over the candle. Then you can just see it. Then you can see that the flame of the candle is blow out and you can see the water is coming up in the glass. This is because the heat from the candle made the air inside the candle quite hot and hot air expands to take more space. When the flame is out, the air starts to cool and the volume of the air decreases and water rises up. This is all about my experiment. Hope you like it. Thank you. Hello everyone, I am Anesh Bhatt, class 5 Declare the blood group. The name of my model is Rainwater Harvesting. Rainwater Harvesting is the process of collecting the rainwater. And then that water is stored in a reservoir and which is used later for household work. At this time, global warming and water scarcity is becoming a huge problem. The process of rainwater harvesting could lead to one of the small steps of saving water. First, rainwater is collected in the collection tank. Then it goes to the filtration tank. And from there, water goes to the storage tank. From 